Megan and today I am bringing you my Meg's Money Musings update for February. So I am doing these monthly check-ins every month obviously and um, this is basically in place of how I did low buy updates last year every single month. This is just like a check-in for me to kind of share my thoughts on how I feel like I did during the month because I'm not doing a specific low buy or no buy or like spending restriction but I am putting pretty much all my money towards saving goals this year and so I'm trying to really limit my spending in every category not just beauty um, being really mindful and judicious with what I choose to spend my money on and learning how precious my money truly is and how hard I work for it and putting more value in what I buy I guess like I feel like a lot of the times in the past I was just like oh this is only 50 bucks or something like I didn't think of it like whoa I worked for that $50 like do I really want to spend it on this is it worth $50 is it worth getting this instead of something else or is it worth like not achieving my savings goals by buying this and I am really proud to say that I've met all my savings goals for this month. I have automatic transfers to my savings every paycheck and I also do a weekly $20 direct deposit into my savings which I'm saving up for a laptop because my laptop is on its last legs and it's something I know I will need to purchase this year and I could be putting more money towards it and I do put my uh, YouTube paychecks towards that savings goal as well if I choose to. In January I didn't do that because I put it towards I think my credit card bill but this month I did put my YouTube paycheck towards my computer because really the reason my computer is in such bad shape is because I overwork it so much making these videos, exporting them, editing them, all that stuff. Like I'm constantly working on my computer for my videos so I thought putting my YouTube paychecks towards saving up for that makes sense. Probably once I meet like I get enough money for my laptop I'll probably continue saving my paychecks from YouTube up for a new camera. Um, I like this camera but it's probably time for an upgrade. One with like a little screen I think would be really nice to see what the heck is going on. Um, but yeah so just little things that I'm trying to do to make it mindless with saving and like I said I have direct deposits set up for the day that I get my paycheck bi-weekly and that's just been wonderful like I've been able to earn a lot of interest on the money that I've been saving as well. I use Barclays for all my savings goals and I have like different accounts or like different yeah different accounts for each like savings goal. So I have like moving out, um, vacations because I am just about ready to pay off my Jamaica trip for this spring and like different things like that that I'm saving up for. And something that unexpectedly happened this month was I got a crack in my windshield, which really sucked. Like, I drive a ton. I don't live super close to my job, um, so I drive on highways a lot. And so I got a crack in my windshield, which I was really, really mad about. Um, but every paycheck, I put money in just like a holding zone in one of my savings accounts. Um, saving for like car stuff and healthcare. So I know every year I'll have to get like a yearly checkup at the doctor and go to the gynecologist and have to pay a copay and then unexpected stuff with my car or even like oil changes and routine maintenance. Like I want money set aside so I can just pay that right away and not have to be like, oh my god, I didn't account for this. And so I am able to pay for the windshield replacement in cash out of pocket because I've been saving for that. In the past I never saved for that kind of stuff and it was always so stressful and scary like oh my god I don't just have like tons and tons of money sitting around but I've really learned as I've gotten older that you need to have that emergency money and I have a separate emergency fund just in case like I lose my job or something like happens um, that's bigger that I would need more money but for like car stuff and like insurance things like that that I know are coming every year 
I am really glad and proud of myself for thinking about that and saving money towards it so I don't have to um, like not meet my savings goals because something unexpected happened and so that's something obviously that's a luxury to have extra money to do that but in the past I always was like treat yourself and like buy stuff in the moment that I want instead of thinking about what I might actually need my money for in the future that's unexpected and I feel like this was a great like not a great thing that I got my windshield cracked but just a really real instance of my savings paying off and my like desire to protect myself in a financial capacity that I didn't have before so that I think was a lesson I learned this month that I'm doing the right thing in terms of like saving for stuff like that's unexpected and then also things like oil changes that are expected. Um, so if you have extra money or can budget money towards saving for those types of things, I think that's a wonderful thing to save for um, just in case. Like it totally sucks but it was more of an inconvenience than like oh my god like I can't afford this to get it fixed so that felt really really good um that I could do that for myself and I'm just like so proud of myself with with just savings in general like this month I did shop like I shopped more in February than I did in January and I was thinking about this and like wondering why have I felt like shopping like what I guess change or what like is up with me that I suddenly really really want to shop like I have been craving to shop and I did spend all my Ulta points on like a big order so even though I didn't like pay money so that feels good like I still wanted stuff and that's always interesting to me because a lot of this like is about the money but it's also like I really love stuff and I want stuff and I want more stuff um, but it doesn't always like bring me happiness to have a lot of stuff so I'm trying to like balance this desire for things with like a realistic like what do I actually want in my life like what is clutter and what is actually like something that makes me truly happy that I want in my life and so that's like an ongoing battle, but I am proud that I used my points instead of spending actual money. And I don't know if any of you guys have this problem, but this has been like really frustrating me. And I don't know, like there's definitely psychology to it where if in a, if like a store or whatever has points, um, specifically I'm talking about Ulta and Starbucks. Those are the two places I shop the most that like earn me points that turn into like money or free things. So at Ulta, which I would recommend if you can buy something at Ulta that you could also buy at Sephora, buy it at Ulta. Like you will rack up points, they do like multipliers, they do like bonus points, and it turns into actual money, which Sephora would never in a million years do for us. They'd be like, here's a little rinky dink half full sample. So Ulta is where I prefer to shop shop now that I've realized how much more value there is in their point system. And then Starbucks, every dollar you spend there you get stars is their like currency of points and stars add up to free drinks and I'm a gold member at Starbucks which is like you earn points faster and then they always have these little like star what do they call star dashes I think is what they call them where it's like a challenge that if you buy certain things or go a certain amount of times in a row or whatever you will earn stars even faster so with both of those places I notice that I spend real money even if I have points or stars that I could turn into a free thing so with Ulta I really wanted to save up to a certain amount of money in terms of points so I saved up $200 in points and I'll show you guys what I bought with those points but it was like this goal in my head that I was like I want to not cash out my points until I reach $200 and so I would spend actual money instead of using my points and 
Something I will mention about Ulta is the more points you have, they're worth more per point. So it's like, I can't remember how it all works out, but if you get like enough points for like a hundred dollar value, if you use only some of them, the point value is less. So it's kind of confusing, but um, so I didn't want to spend my points at all until I reached like that goal for whatever reason I had in my mind. And then with Starbucks, this is like what I'm most embarrassed about. I have like free drink rewards. Like I have four or five free drink rewards, yet I keep spending my money on drinks to participate in getting more stars. And more stars means more free drinks that I never ever use. Like why do I want all these stars that add up to free drinks, but I never use them. It's like crazy. Like when I, like I've been aware of this for a few months and all these like star rewards and stuff like that keep happening. And if you use a reward, you don't get extra stars. And so I'm like, I need to get these stars. I need to do these challenges. And it's like, why? when you have free freaking drinks and the reward of doing all these challenges is more free drinks which you never use like it's super weird please tell me i'm not the only one that does it um yesterday i did use my stars instead of participating in one of their like challenges because i was like i'm not gonna go to starbucks multiple days in a row to earn more stars I'm just gonna get a drink today for free and enjoy it and then not feel like pressure to go back days in a row and get specific things that they want you to get so then you get stars because you don't just um get like the points in the challenge if you buy anything it's like you have to buy certain things oh my god it's so annoying but i'm a sucker for it and they know that so i don't know that's something that i've been more aware of this month and just trying to like talk myself off the cliff with that like use your points use your stars like with Ulta how it um is more valuable to have more points I kind of still think I would save up my points to get like a hundred or two hundred dollars of points before cashing them out but with Starbucks like what am I doing so that has been weird and I just wanted to like vent about that because I'm so frustrated with myself about the Starbucks thing and maybe some of you guys like there out there are like that as well because I can't be the only one like this is their marketing ploy this is their sales strategy and they're doing a great job because clearly I'm falling into the trap okay so I have been shopping a little bit, I have wanted things, but I haven't like broken down and bought a ton of stuff, which is good. Like I got fake lashes this month, which I paid for like out of pocket at Ulta. And today I'm wearing a different pair. These are the Ardell 184s. And then it was a two pack and I, these are up there looking like spiders, but I cut off two of the most like longest um little sections so those are like the extras but that's what I'm wearing today and I've really really enjoyed trying out false lashes I've been feeling like I don't know I just feel really pretty when I wear them and they're pretty easy to apply and I don't know I just really have been enjoying trying them out and seeing how I like them and so I think it was worth the money for me this month to buy those and I bought I bought $50 of false lashes, which was crazy, but then I returned $22 of lashes. So I only spent like 28, which whatever, if that's kind of excessive all at once, but I have been using like a bunch of the different pairs and I've just really enjoyed it. So to me, it was worth it. Some people will be like, oh, why'd you do that? But it's my money, <laughs> it's my fake lashes, and I've just really gotten a lot of joy out of the process of trying them and I don't know I just really really love them in February I kind of did like not a lot but also like a 
a few like really fun things. Like I went snowboarding with my friends. That cost money, but it was definitely worth it for the experience. And my best friend Alyssa has really wanted to go and she used to snowboard, but she hasn't been in years. So she's been like just dying to go and she really wanted me to try it with her. So me, her brother and her went and it was really a fun experience. I would not snowboard again. I did not do well at it whatsoever but it's one of those things like I have talked to you guys in the past I think experiences are worth so much more than stuff will ever be and so this month I also bought tickets to see Mean Girls and Broadway that by the time you see this I will already have been there and things like that are worth it to me like even though it might be like $90 or $100 or something to me, it's worth doing that and experiencing things and going with my friends or my family. And I don't know, I just really have been more picky, I guess, with what I experience. Like, I don't say yes to everything anymore. Like, I'm a person that I, I feel guilty a lot. <laughs> and I don't know if like the people around me really sense that because I'm usually like always like game for anything. But a lot of the times I want to do things with the people I love because I want to spend time with them, but also because I feel guilty. Like if I don't do it, they won't get to do it. And I've realized like I can't, I can't put that pressure on myself. And if they really want to do it, like they'll do it. Um, but there has to be part of me that also wants to do it. And sometimes they ask me to do something I just really don't want to do and I have to be like strong enough and know like it's going to be okay our relationship will be fine if I don't do this one thing with them but it is something that weighs on me and makes me nervous like to say no to someone that I love um because I know like in a sense it's like saying no to them and I don't know it's like a lot of like emotional like attachment to that type of thing but it also is like my money I want to spend it on the things I actually want to do so I haven't just been doing everything with everyone and so that makes me feel proud of myself as well that I'm kind of working through that and trying to like be kinder to myself about that kind of thing because like I said I do put a lot of pressure on myself about that sort of thing and so I'm trying not to give in to that it's not like my friends or family are pressuring me to do it it's like I pressure myself to say yes and then like I usually always have a great time but I don't know some things I just don't want to spend my money on you know what I mean so that's been like a hurdle that I've been trying to overcome and not feel like as guilty about saying no. But I am looking forward to a lot of things I have coming up that I am doing with my friends. And March is going to be cray to the zay. Like I have a work trip upcoming. I have, um, we have like a sales meeting that I'm going to as well and like presenting at and I have the Ariana Grande concert this month in March and I'm going to visit my friend Chloe. Her and her fiance bought a house so I'm going to visit her and in like a few weekends, oh yeah, St. Patty's Day. I was like what is that big thing that I'm doing? For St. Patty's Day I'm going to Philly for the weekend so that was like a costly weekend that I'm going to have to pay for. I'm feeling like March is going to be so busy that I probably won't have time to really want to shop or really have the extra money to shop because like I said doing all those different things costs money and I would rather do those things with my friends than buy a bunch of stuff. So we'll see what happens. I'm sure I will crave to shop in March. Um, in February, did I, I think I went to Target like three times, which is more than I did in January. January, I think I only went once, but one of the times in February was for work, but then I went twice 
on my own um but I don't feel like I'm as weak in Target as I used to be so that's good but I still don't trust myself in Target very much so I've been trying to stay away as much as possible pretty much every day when I get home from work I do my Nike training club exercise and then like I just am home the rest of the night like a lot of the times in the past I've wanted to like do something after work or like sometimes I will go to a movie me and my mom saw what men want it was so so good you guys it's really funny but also like a really great I don't know it reminded me of bridesmaids how it has a nice like lesson to it but it's also really hilarious so if you haven't seen what men want definitely go see that we saw a trailer for Issa Rae's new movie Little oh my god I could not wait for this freaking movie and I'm so happy for her that she's gonna be in the movies like she's gonna be a movie star like so so exciting um but yeah I just haven't done a ton of stuff like after work I've mostly just been watching the bold type and exercising so that makes me feel good and definitely always room for improvement but I'm feeling really good going into March and knowing that like everything that I've been doing for the past two months is working at least in some capacity and I'm I'm getting there like I'm doing good things and I'm resisting more than I'm saying yes and that makes me feel really wonderful so those are my thoughts on how I did in the month of February I hope this was maybe interesting or made you think about your own like experience in the month of February with how you're spending your money. I feel like these videos really help me reflect and I would just be so happy if it helps at least one of you guys reflect on your own spending and shopping impulses and if you have like a strong shopping addiction like me maybe we're going through this like rehab process together and that's like all I could really hope for with these videos is that it's helping someone like it's helping me so I really appreciate you guys watching today I hope you're having an awesome one and I'll see you really soon bye